Hey guys, what is up? We are back again. Um, and today we got some kind of cool. We are installing a set of fab speed down pipes on this new RSQ8 Audi. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna pop the engine cover. So I'm gonna put you guys down so I can get two hands on it. But you pull the engine cover and then you end up pulling the whole intake box out to get to the top V bands of the down pipes. So we're going to set you guys to the side, put you on a time lapse and let you watch. <laughs> All right, now as you can tell, the whole air cleaner box came out, um, the oil fill it's kind of like a little drain plug adapter right here, um, pops out. I do recommend putting a rag or something in that just so nothing falls into it. And then same with these, uh, it's your two air intakes. And then this was clipped to it. So our next step, what we're gonna do is go ahead and loosen these V bands, pull out the O2 sensors, and then the rest of the work pretty much should be from down below and kind of see down in there, there's like a three bolt flange that we'll have to get to. Um, should be on both sides. Same deal, yep. And those we will get from below and then we should be able to just pull them straight out the top. All right, as you guys can see, we got all those free. O2s are out. The V-bands are unclamped. Um, it's kind of hard to get them out, so we're just gonna leave them there until we get the down pipes out. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the car up and go from underneath and get those three bolts. As you can see on the new ones, it's uh, three bolt flanges. We're gonna get those out, and then these sh things should just pull straight out the top. All right guys, so I don't know if you can see too well up in there, but you got three, looks like 12 millimeter nuts. They're gonna have to pull. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this part of the skid plate. Well, it's more of a dust cover um, as well, just so I have a little bit more access right here. But yeah, the same on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those three pulled and then they should just come right out the top. All right guys, so we got the downward bolts off, everything set, so now we're gonna go ahead and get a little pry bar in here, try to separate these from the turbo flanges and uh, get them out. So we got the stock cats out, um, down pipes, cats, they're all out. We got the new FAFC ones getting ready to go in. They are 200 CPI cell per inch. Um, one thing you do have to do is take the gasket off your stock ones, reuse them on the aftermarket ones. That's not a big deal. They do provide all new hardware. And so yeah, now we're just gonna get these back in. Um, we'll get the top V band on, and then we'll go ahead and lift the car up Get these three bolts on each one tightened down and then put the air cleaner back on and we'll be done.
All right, guys, it is done. Everything's back together. Now we're gonna pull it into one of the other bays over here. And then we're gonna pull the ECU and have that tuned. This thing should be about 200 more wheel horsepower and it's gonna be a ripper. Just remember, if you guys wanna see more install videos and more cool cars, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tell your friends. Let's go.